In this problem, we're told two figure skaters, one weighing 625 newtons and the other weighing 725 newtons, push off against each other on frictionless ice. A, if the heavier skater travels 1.5 meters per second, how fast will the lighter one travel? And B, how much kinetic energy is created during the skater's maneuver, and where does this energy come from? So before we start this problem, I always like to draw a diagram. So there's going to be two different states, right? So it's going to be before the push off and then after. So we're just going to draw what's going on uh, during both of these. So before, they're just going to be right next to each other. Right, they're not going to be moving, right? So here's our two skaters, right? And so what they're going to do is they're just standing right next to each other. So we know their velocity, both of their velocities are just zero, right? Zero meters per second since they're standing still, right? And they still have their uh, weight force, right? We can label that. Uh, let's say this one's the 725 Newton. This one's going to be 625 Newtons. So this is going to be going on before. And then what happens after? So afterwards, right? So let's say this is them after. Right, they're gonna push off each other, okay? So like they're gonna push and it's gonna cause them to go the opposite way, right? Because if they push, it's gonna cause them to go backwards. So you know one's gonna travel this way and one's gonna travel this way. Right? They still have their forces, so 625, 725. Um, we know the one, the heavier one, which is gonna be the 725 one, right? Because that one's heavier, because this is their weight force, right? Uh, so this one's gonna travel 1.5 meters per second. Right, but the other one, that's what we're trying to find. How fast will a lighter one travel? So this one, we're trying to find its velocity. So we're just going to say V equals question mark for now because we don't know. So how do we find it? So we're going to solve for it is by using uh, the law of conservation of momentum. And I'll explain to you how that works. So imagine, or you should just know this formula first. So M1 V1 plus M2 V2 is equal to M1 V1 final plus, actually, let me rewrite this, V1 final plus M2 V2 final. So essentially, the initial velocity times the mass of the first person, and then the second one, is equal to the final, right? They have to be equal. So what does this tell us? Um, essentially, what we can do is solve for, uh, so what we're going to do is label V2, or M2 in V2 is going to be this person, right? So this person is going to be 2, this is going to be 1, okay? So just keep that in mind. So how do we want to do this? So the first thing you should realize uh, before we solve for the masses, because we're going to need to do that, is that V1 in V2 Right, this is the initial, right? This is before, this is after. Well, what do we know about their velocities before? It's equal to zero because they're not moving. So essentially, this whole side of the equation is going to be equal to zero, right? Because this is zero and this is zero. It doesn't matter what the masses are. It's going to, zero times anything is zero. So this whole side is going to go away. So essentially, we have zero equals m1 v1 final plus m2 v2 final. Okay? And so what we want to do, right, is think about what we know. We know v2 final, right? Because this is our two guy. This is his final velocity in our picture. So this is going to be 1.5. Uh, v1 final is what we're trying to find, but we don't know m1 and m2 yet. They tell us it, but it's not directly told. So they give us these forces, and that's what the key is to finding m1 and m2, right? So this is, uh, we can call this w1 and w2, okay? And so how do we solve for it? Well, this is the weight force, right? And we know weight force is just equal to mg, right? The force due to gravity. So if we want to solve for m, their mass, we can just divide both sides by g. So m is going to be equal to their weight force divided by gravity. And that's what we're going to use to solve. OK, so what we can go ahead and do is just plug it in, and then we're going to be able to solve. So let's go ahead and do that. So um, 0 is going to be equal to m1. So m1 is the mass right, of the first person, but it's going to be their weight force divided by gravity. And so 1 is going to be the lighter person, right? So theirs is going to be their weight force, which is 625 divided by 9.8, which is the gravity, right? Times V1 final, we don't know what that is yet. Plus, and then let's do M2. So this is going to be the heavier one. They're going to be 725 newtons divided by 9.8, right? We're just plugging in the mass multiplied by V2 final, which is 1.5, right? And so what you should notice now is V1 final is isolated, or it's alone in the equation, right? And we can solve. So if we move this to the other side and then divide by this, we can solve. So just moving this to the other side, so minus 725 divided by 9.8, multiply that by 1.5, it's going to be equal to 625 divided by 9.8 times V1 final. And then divide by this, right, so 625 divided by 9.8, and then divide this side by it, right? And you should notice that this is going to be negative, right? And we know that's the case, right, because um, it's going to be going in the opposite direction, and that's why the negative is there. But yeah, so just go ahead and do this, right? So plug this in your calculator. You want to do um, 725, here I'll plug it in. So do 725, 725 divided by 9.8, multiply that by 1.5, and then you're going to divide that 
by uh, 625 divided by 9.8, right? Yeah, so when you do this, you're going to get that it equals uh, 1.74 meters per second. But keep in mind the negatives there, so it's minus 1.74, right? So 1.7 or minus 1.74, so the speed they're going is 1.74 meters per second. But since the negative is there, it means in the opposite direction. So they're going to travel, uh, right? We can label this. So this is A. I'm just going to write the answer. So 1.74 meters per second in the opposite direction, right? Or you could just say opposite. Yeah, let's just say that. So opposite the direction of the heavier skater. Right, so 1.74 meters per second, opposite the direction of the heavier skater. So this right here is going to be your answer to A. Let's move on to uh, B now. So B is going to be how much kinetic energy is created during the skater's maneuver. So I'm going to erase what we have on screen. So if you need it, write it down. But I'm going to erase it so we can do B because there's not much room. But uh, yeah, so uh, let's go ahead and do B. So we're trying to solve for kinetic energy here, right? You should know the formula for kinetic energy. Uh, Ke, which is the kinetic energy, equals 1 half mv squared. Right, so this is what we're going to solve, but we're trying to find um, uh, how much kinetic energy is created. So what we can do essentially is um, think about how it works. Right, we're just going to add up, uh, or we know the kinetic energy in the beginning is going to be zero. Why is that? So in the beginning, it's zero, right, because the velocity is zero. And then if we add these up, right, we'll say one half m v, uh, one half m one v one squared plus one half m two v two squared. These are both zero, okay, right, because they're not moving. So really, we just got to add up m one v one final. Um, m2v2 final, right? This is just what we're going to use. And we know all these numbers, right? This is 1 half. m1, if you remember, uh, is the lighter person. So it's just going to be 625 divided by 9.8, right? We went over that in the first problem because it's just w equals mg divided by g is their mass. Then we multiply by v1 final, which we just solved for, right? Which is 1.74. And you can put the direction. It's not going to make a difference because we're squaring it. So I'm just not going to, but just keep that in mind. Um, and then plus 1 half times m2, which is going to be uh, 725 divided by 9.8, right? Times v2 final, which is uh, 1.5. Sorry, 1.5 squared. So if you go ahead and do this, 1 half times 625 divided by 9.8 times 1.74 squared plus 1 half times 725 divided by 9.8 times 1.5 squared, you're going to get... Uh, or about, you're going to get 179.76 joules, right? And so keep in mind it's joules because it's kinetic energy. So we just added these two up and solved. So 179.76, because they start at zero and they go to this. So how much kinetic energy is created? It's going to be this amount, right? So 179.76, that's going to be uh, the amount of kinetic energy created. And then where does this energy come from? So uh, if you think about it, right, they're going to be pushing off each other. And this is going to create some energy. And so it's such, that's essentially where it comes from. So it's coming from uh, the forces that the skaters are applying on each other when they push each other off, right? When they push the other person so they can speed up their velocity. But yeah, so uh, this right here is your answer to B. Uh, C was what I just said, right? It comes from their pushes. Uh, but yeah, so these are going to be your answers. And uh, hopefully you found this useful.